Welcome to GMA Talk, and today we have a special conversation with a special guest uh, in terms of, uh, just in terms of passion, dreams, and goals, and this conversation today is in honor of Chadwick Bosman, uh, you know, the superhero, the main character, you know, uh, in Wakanda Forever, and the Black Panther, you know, <laughs> in other words, you know, T'Challa. <laughs> the king or the king of Wakanda. So and today, uh, Sosina is joining me for this conversation. You know, just uh, talk about the, um, uh, the character and the movie and its influence and just in terms of uh, the black culture and the movie industry. And uh, if you're not subscribed, please, please, please subscribe. Don't just come and enjoy and then just go, you know, just there. <laughs> Sosina, what do you say to the people who just enjoy and don't want to, to subscribe? Yeah, don't don't be selfish. Share it away. Subscribe. Come again. There you go. Yeah, you know, because some people are like they come and they peek and then they just go. They watch. Oh. They enjoy. They don't even say anything. They don't even subscribe, like, or comment. You know. <laughs> oh, right. Come on and subscribe and be family. <laughs> exactly. You know, subscribing. You know, it pushes. Uh, you know, it gives you motivation. It pushes you. You know, uh, yeah. it uh, shows indeed that you are doing something well. You know, right? Exactly, and nothing to lose by pushing that button. Exactly, you already have an email address, and you're already watching it. It's just beep, one second, <laughs> not even a second. <laughs> yeah. Ah, awesome! Wow, thank you very much for joining uh, on this uh, special conversation. I'm um, not talking about uh, uh, Chadwick uh, Bosman uh, in terms of uh, just the passion, dreams, and goals. So yeah, so just uh, start by you know just um, talking about or giving highlight in terms of just the movie itself, uh, Black Panther. You know, in terms of like its influence or like your experience uh, when the movie came out or the hype that uh, when the movie came out, the hype that uh, people had. Uh, so Sina, <laughs> when the movie came out, like how what was the excitement? Oh my God! Actually, I think I was wearing this shirt if I'm not wrong. So yeah. Uh, it made us, um, you know, bring out everything we had, everything related to our African ancestry, everything from inside out, whether it's clothing, whether it's our language, everything came out. Like, whatever was hidden was just, boom, like Wakanda, Wakanda, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Wakanda forever, yeah. And that's a very, yeah, very interesting point, like everything when it came out, because for me, I remember because I lived some few years in South Africa, right? So in the movie, sometimes when they were speaking like the dialect of Kosa or Zulu, you know, and then you just like, you just feel like so proud, like, you know, being an African, you know? <laughs> exactly. So it made everyone connect. It made everyone call each other and be like, hey, let's watch that movie and make sure you're wearing your African attire or anything that represents our, you know, identity, right? Mm -hmm. So it was really big so i'm sure everyone went in crowds i remember schools were going in crowds like kids were going as like family and even like community so it was a big thing everyone was taking a picture at west Ed. like you know people would be looking at like what is this like <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, yeah that's the thing because especially if you see if you say like when you say like just like schools or, or group or crowds like going together, right? Because I remember like sometimes you would see like videos on social media and you as like field trips like or schools like going like to the hall like watching the movie together or like even good uh, good wishes or well people like paying for people like yeah. to go watch like to see the movie. So that was like crazy, you know? Yeah, that's right. Even celebrities were paying for people to watch the movie. Mm -hmm. Underprivileged uh, or people from poverty they couldn't afford you know there are people who can't afford to watch a movie so yeah mm -hmm. yeah for sure you know not everybody can afford like uh, whether it's the 13 or 15 dollar of watching movies so that was like you know uh very great to see uh, uh celebrities and just uh, people helping you know to pay for each other to go and experience because uh kids everywhere were like were so oh, so proud like even i remember like you know even like elders like among the family you know like they were also very excited you know to watch this movie like i remember even in uh in calgary like even my uncles 
and my uncle and auntie like they usually go to movie but when this was like a family affairs family getaway you know family movie like for sure like everybody put on like their outfit you know the african attires and just went to watch um, uh, the movie and that's very unheard of like at least especially like this for me no, I've never like put on a, a special outfit, you know, to go for. Uh, maybe, maybe I'm going for a date. Yes. <laughs> yeah, if you're going for a date, yeah, you put on a special outfit, maybe for a movie. But this one was just like, you know, for the love of like the African attire. Right? How was that like, you know? <laughs> Spirits, right? It just brought out like because I think it's because we didn't see that before. Like you said, it was rare that there was a movie that represents us in a positive way. And I think people felt that, you know, there was a huge lack in that. So I think that's why people were just like, oh my God, is this real? Like, I can't believe we're being shown to the world in this kind of image, right? Without having to change ourselves, like our outfits, our hair, you know, just as we are natural, our blackness, like Lupita Nyong'o, I mean, imagine girls, Looking yeah, at yeah, yeah, that's why she's amazing. <laughs> so beautiful, like with her natural hair and everything. So yeah, that's why everyone felt the magnitude, like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's a very interesting point in terms of like because most of the time you're getting like movies which are coming out, you know, it's portraying like black history or black people like in a stereotypical or very negative way, right? And that's why like this uh, Black Panther movie, you know, it's really like. You know, cultivated like the audience, like didn't matter like from which part of the world you are, and even like especially like also on the African continent, because usually when like Hollywood movie like releases out, you know, usually like they are big in U.S. or Canada, or sometimes in somewhere in Europe, right? But this time like you had like even people in Africa like they knew, you know, <laughs> Black Panther, you know, like they knew Wakanda forever, right? So you can just tell, you know, like in terms of like the trajectory, like in terms of like where this movie touched people like from different parts of the world, you know? Yeah. Exactly. And I'm sure there are parts of the world where they don't know that there are black people that exist. <laughs> so. and, yeah, and, and, and that's a thing, right? Because, you know, you still have in terms of like some, uh, in some societies, like maybe around the world, like it's still like very close societies, right? You know, whether like, you no, know, maybe they might not specifically know that, you know, be yeah, indeed black people exist, but it's just that in terms of like the welcoming or the acceptance or still like treating like certain race or certain culture, like as a very distance, you know, yeah. from other parts and levels of human beings. So yeah, it's very, very always uh, interesting, like for this kind of conversation and uh, just the awakening and the opening of people's mind. Exactly. Yeah. So, and then when then when you talk about now in terms of like the movie, and then like its main actor, its main character, like uh, Chadwick uh, Boseman. Um, so for you specifically, like especially like with uh, the recent uh, announcement of his death, and then knowing that he was like sick with uh, coronary uh, cancer. So because many people like didn't know like he was sick, I, even for me too. But and then he's still like managing like to put on the show, like put on the movies, like go visit sick kids in the hospital, do like charitable events. Like how, how did the news, like what, what happened or how, what, the re what was the reaction when you hear the news? Oh my God, I was shocked. I was really shocked because um, first of all, we kind of forgot about him or the movie after a while. I mean, it wasn't being talked about or anything. Mm -hmm. and, but as soon as I saw his picture and as soon as I, the, I saw the news, I was like, you know, it just really brought me back to that moment and how big this was and how much of an impact he has really made. Mm -hmm. So, and knowing that, like you said, it was calling cancer and he ha he's been struggling uh, for four years. I was like, how? Like, mm -hmm. nobody knew. You know, he was really like poised and he was really putting himself out there as, you know, this hero. And, but behind doors, he's mm -hmm. been playing with this alone or with just his immediate family. Yeah. And I don't know how strong you have to be to present yourself like that to the world and still continue 
to uh, push your purpose and push your passion and you know just continue being that role model mm -hmm. because i think that's what he did he's like you know i don't want people to see me or little kids to see me as the can the person with cancer or because at the end of the day that's what the media will just keep talking like oh he's got cancer he's got cancer chadwick and cancer mm -hmm. so at the end of the day people or little kids especially who saw him as the hero um would have ended up thinking of him as the guy with the cancer instead of the black hero that they mm. you know still see him as so i think that was such a yeah. great thing and to just keep that image mm -hmm. until his last breath so wow. Because that's a, it's a very interesting point you bring up, yeah. Especially with you know the world we live in, with like media perception, negativity, and everything like on social media, like you know flying before the truth, you know, gets out, right? You know, it's yeah. a very interesting point is that yeah, if they knew maybe he was dealing with this, you know, secretly or on the inside and the show and the work that he was doing out there, yeah, maybe there would have been a very different focus, you know, in, instead of like his movie roles or even like the work that he was doing, you know? So even for me, like when I first heard you know, about the news, like because somebody, because I didn't know at first, like somebody told me, like, have you heard like the guy from Black Panther is dead? Oh, okay. I was, I was like, I was very surprised. Like I was very shocked. Like I, I didn't believe. And so after that, like I, I myself, like had to, to check online, you know, just like make sure or confirm. You know that uh, because nowadays with so much <laughs> news you don't know what to trust and what not to trust right so yeah. like i myself had to like look, check like a, a news media outlet you know and then yeah and it was even like very true and even like on his twitter like the family put out a statement you know uh releasing like the news about his death so it was like very very you know as you say like since like at least like in 2019 or in 2020 like you know because of like the hype of the movie or like people are not like it's not like in people's mind or or like people are not talking about it, right so like in terms of like uh we didn't hear much about him or the movie again all that we know is maybe they are they're gonna be filming or they are making like black uh you know black panther too right so yeah as you say if it's somebody who haven't heard about like in the recent weeks or in recent months so it was like very very surpri surprising you know, in terms of that news yeah Mm -hmm. So, and then you already chat in terms of like the, just the badge, like to be able like to go there and just like do what you do best, you know, like whether it's singing, sing, whether it's acting, act, whether it's eating, eat, you know? <laughs> no, yeah, you can inspire so many people. Yeah, like, exactly. Like right? So, but, and then when we look in terms of like, just in terms of like passion, you know, dreams and goals, like for you specifically, like to be, to now be aware that, you know, the guy was fighting for his life, he was sick, but at the same time, you, day in and day out, he was still has so great passion to put uh, the movies out there, like, especially like, you know, uh, portraying like black people, like in great light and not like very stereotypical, you know, like, do you like, tell me like the light, like the roles that he was playing and then just like his passion and just pushing dreams and goals of his, despite the sickness, like, what does that mean to you? Yeah, um, I think for me, it's like, okay, so first of all, he was living for his passion, right? And through passion, uh, there is also purpose. He was living his purpose. Mm -hmm. um, and I think um, it's not because he's a celebrity or it's not because he gained a lot of money. It's because he affected a lot of people, right? And he was just being a service to us all. So that's what make him a hero because he was able through all this, he was able to affect people in a positive way and just give out, give for his community or for the community. And um, so for him to just uh, continue through his struggles, I think that's also another lesson that he taught us is that you know besides him inspiring us to be to be ourselves or to be proud of our blackness and on and on besides that what he taught us through this is that you know no matter what struggles you're facing you just have to not give up on mm. your purpose and on your dreams and just keep going until your last breath 
Wow, wow. But yeah, because, you know, that's why you're here. That's what makes you happy. And that's mm -hmm. why you're created. And so no matter what you face, even though you know you're facing death, you just have to keep going, right? And for most of us, it's not death that stops us from finding our purpose or from continuing our purpose. It's just the little things. So can you imagine if he went through that and still made it and still left a legacy, then what is stopping us from, you know, following our passion and purpose in life? Mm -hmm. And the other thing, the second thing is, you know, there's a saying that says, it's not the um, years in the life, it's the life in the years. So some of us, we might be shocked, like, oh my God, you know, he was only 43 years old. First of all, he doesn't look 43, he looks like 25. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's like, true, that, oh, yeah. Guy. He's just, yeah, anyways, he was keep, keeping himself healthy. I am mm. he can. But for him to be 43, but we might say, oh my God, he's too young to die, right? But he did more than what, let's say, an 85 person probably did in, mm -hmm. in the life, right? So mm -hmm. sometimes it's about using our time wisely and just not thinking like, oh my God, I still have lots of years that's not promised. <laughs> yeah, and, that, and that's the thing, because like, that's what people see. It's like, oh, I'm still young. I still have a long way to live. But at well, the same time, whether young or old, you know, no life is guaranteed, right? No. Exactly. So we have to use every single day to fulfill our passion, to fulfill our purpose. Because if Chadwick had waited saying, oh, I still have 50 plus years to live because I'm sure I'll die. Like the average death is like 80 plus in America. So I'll just mm. wait till I fulfill my dreams or I'll do this tomorrow. Then we probably wouldn't have seen him make this impact, right? So yeah. we those two things stand out. Wow, that's uh, very, you know, very well and uh, beautifully put because, you know, when you talk about, you know, like people, you know, not being on their deathbed or not being like sick or like not being about to die, but they're not being able like to pursue, you know, or put out there, you know, what they're really, you know, their purpose, like their passion and just like pushing like every bit and even like waiting. It's okay, maybe in five years or in 10 years, you know, I'm going to do this instead of them to do that at this moment when they have the opportunity and then walk towards like step by step, right? And that's what, you know, for me, the lesson here is like, you know, uh, indeed, if you know your purpose and you're passionately about that, you know, don't wait for tomorrow, right? You know, so this is like directly applied to this scenario. It's like, it was sick, like it didn't say, it didn't say it's like, okay, I'm going to wait until I'm healed. You know, in order like to put on Black Panther, right? I'm gonna wait until I'm here, you know, in order to go visit sick children in the hospital. I'm gonna wait until I'm here, in order like to go uh, help charity and charitable causes, you know, out there, right? But he did indeed like live his purpose, and he really like every day and day out, like he put everything he had and he gave all he had within him, and that's what really like it's called also for for all of us, you know, like the example that you know, Chadwick, you know, like uh, Gav is like, no matter the struggles, no matter the hardship, you know, like make sure day in, day out, you put your best foot forward because that's what it's all about, right? Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and then now when you bring like, in terms of like this, you know, conversation, especially like <laughs> to young people, you know, in the community, you know, uh, whether you know, uh, they are students or whether they are migrants or whether they are refugees, you know, just like or, uh, different hardships like they are facing in the community. You know, what specific like, advice you know, can you give like to fellow young people who are still there, like maybe still trying to find themselves or saying, you know, I will do in five years, I will do in uh, 10 years. Like, what can you tell them? Um. I would say, first of all, it starts with knowing yourself and knowing who you are. And because if you don't know who you are, then how are you going to know what you want, right? Mm -hmm. So first of all, you have to know who you are. You can't let someone tell you who you are. I don't care if it's parents or brothers or sisters or <laughs> the government or, you know, mm -hmm. you have to know who you are. And to do that, you have to take the time. To, 
to be with yourself and to listen to your heart and or through doing you you'll know what you like right or you know what your purpose is so uh, and even culturally you still have to be connected to who you are you can't be um, forget let's say if you're like from Africa or from a certain country you still have to know your identity because mm -hmm. you feel like you're lost and you don't know who you are once again you can't move forward right yeah find your purpose because that's the first step is know who you are be proud of who you are uh, just like Chadwick you know he was just standing up for his people so and the second thing once you do that then you have time give time for yourself to listen to your heart and find your purpose and after that no matter what obstacles is in front of you just try not to look or focus on that try to focus on what's available or what kind of opportunities are around you right mm -hmm. and so those are the things that i would tell you young people is no matter where you are in the world yeah these days there's the internet um most times most places people have access to internet even though it's you know different mm -hmm. uh, they still have access to the internet. So use that resource to educate yourself, to focus on, let's say, like motivational videos. Uh, there are lots of Black people who are doing amazing things. Yes. People don't see them on the popular media, you know, for mm -hmm. whatever. They don't show that. They only show, especially in Africa, they only show, <laughs> you know, Black people just know how to sing and dance like, no, it's not just that, you know. If that's your passion, yeah, of course, go ahead. Mm. Life is more than that. For so, sure, yeah. And so, then I indeed, as you said, like a lot of, you know, it, it, it's just that, as you say, you know, like on the popular media or even in the news, they're not showcasting like the amazing and the creativity and achievement of uh, black people, like whether it's young or old, right? And so when you start getting like, you know, this, like you are just showcasing like specific people like in a negative like uh, spotlight or negative way and then that's what like people and others like even people themselves and others become to believe about that right but right. especially like when you say like you know know who you are right because this is the work you know especially also with our community work with a diaspora african youth association adaya you know just having to emphasize in that aspect of culture part of history you know even one time when we did like african countries and the capital city and what they produce you know? yes, yes 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 you know so when and and that's for me you know as you know as a proud african you know as now who call also canada home you know like no matter where i travel that has always been like the following you know, like when you know who you are, like when you know your history, when you know, you know, what you bring to the table, then you, you can be able like to take it, you know, from there, right? So I do for sure agree with in that time of the first advice, yeah, know who you are, whether it's um, what, what makes you happy, what makes you sad, you know, your history, your culture, you know, all of these things like contribute to you you know, finding your roots and finding like your purpose in this life in order to know how best to other ask for support or how best you can go out there and create, you know, for yourself, you know. Exactly, because at the end of the day, have you ever seen a strong tree that's standing straight or has its branches spread out without roots? No, oh, wow, okay, that's very beautiful, yeah. You need mm. to deepen your roots, you need to know your ground, you need to know your purpose, you need mm -hmm. to know who you are in order to grow and move forward and spread out your branches and your leaves and then you'll be a breath of fresh air to mm -hmm. people around you and out yeah. in the world so. mm -hmm. wow uh, that's amazing yeah, especially nowadays you know like today nowadays especially among young people you know waiting like for social media or the news or other people like to tell them what they are or who they are or like what they are passionate about, their purpose in this life, not taking the, that time themselves like for self-discovery, you know, because it is a process, you know, because even though you know your roots or your culture or who you are, you know, sometimes you're not very proud of it at the right, at, at the right to go, right? Like it takes time like to develop like insight. You. It takes time like for the acceptance. It takes time like for you, you know, like to bring it out, right? As you say, you know, whether 
know whether they are good or bad, but at the same time, the roots are the roots. And the roots are the ones which makes you who you are. And it's up to you to say, okay, which, which kind of cultivation or which kind of, you know, watering or which kind of, you know, plantation like you want to, you know, you want to take forward in terms of like uh, building your own identity, building your own life uh, so that you can be there for you and not just like be there for themselves, uh, for other people, I mean, because nowadays you are getting <laughs> many people they are just being there for others and not being being there for themselves. They're not discovering themselves, you know. Yeah, and uh, that's that won't be very efficient because again, it starts with you, and mm -hmm. you can't do something for yourself. How are you gonna do it to other people? Yeah, or you won't mm -hmm. be as effective. So, um, I think you make or a person will make a bigger impact if they start with themselves and then then they can, ha they're strong enough to actually be there for others, right? Mm -hmm. so, and and what, what I like about what you said is, uh, you know, you have to choose your, like, sunlight or the kind of water <laughs> that you <laughs> yes. to grow yourself. That's important because, like you said, the media, uh, uh, the popular media won't show the, you know, the good things most mm -hmm. of the time especially for us black folks, yeah. uh, ten people, it's like, okay, you have to choose what you let yourself see or hear or read so that mm -hmm. then that's your water, that's your sunlight for you to grow, right? Wow. So mm -hmm. like, you have to really be careful on choosing it. But the good thing is it's out there. There are people doing amazing, like you, Gerard, you're on YouTube, you know, spreading all this awareness, knowledge. <laughs> wow, thank you. So, but it's hard to find, you know, you're not on the popular media, but <laughs> yeah. still here on YouTube, someone um, needs to discover you, mm -hmm. like I could in Africa somewhere. Yeah, you know, <laughs> exactly. I'm still happy. waiting for somebody to discover me because I'm doing what I'm passionate and purpose about. <laughs> <laughs> So what I'm trying to say is the good thing is thank God for the internet, you know, yeah, exactly. or used to be one TV, one media, you have no choice but to listen to them. But now, that's why I'm saying like use this mm -hmm. technology. Um, you know, you can use it in a good way or a bad way. It's up to yeah. you to be distracted with celebrity news mm -hmm. and take that time to search up yeah. what you want. Find your water, find your sunlight, yeah. grow yourself. Wow, that's amazing. That's uh, very beautiful. I guess, you know, we can just like bring everything together and then maybe try to conclude on one point, you know, uh, in terms of like just uh, migrants and refugees, you know, uh, especially like because this month and, and this week, millions of people are going back to school, right? And you think about like that the role of education having on like a society or on uh, people's daily lives, but at the same time, you know, around the world, you know, many refugees are facing challenges in terms of education. You know? maybe they're in the refugee camp, there is no education, or maybe they're in a country that you know is not offering them access to education. So when you talk about like the role of uh, the internet or like people being access to information or people creating for themselves so like for indeed for for many like millions of refugees around the world who are finding like very hard like to establish themselves like which advice like can you give them and just also that just other people also okay i would say that whatever opportunity there is uh for them uh to grow uh use that like you know it might not be internet but there might be a book that going to help them grow right mm -hmm. it might be a book but it might be a person that can give them great advice or that they can ask a lot of life lessons questions from and they can learn a lot or mm. observe their environment and just you can even learn from nature like nature has For sure. to teach us so all i'm saying is no matter where you are whatever um surrounding you're surrounded with mm -hmm. just try to use that opportunity because uh, you never know when you're going to use that knowledge because it's still a knowledge. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're taught that, oh, you have to go to school in order to have knowledge. But um, is that really true? No, it's not. So if 
in life you're having a hard time or you're in um, you know you're a refugee and you're um, not in a good place or you don't have the opportunity to go to school uh, don't let that stop you from learning because learning happens every day every moment mm -hmm. so if you have a pen and a paper just write down your thoughts yeah and i'm sure like most people most successful people we're not born rich or yeah. we're not born in a, you know, like comfy environment. There are mm -hmm. lots of created from the bottom. So yeah. I would say just keep on finding inspiration and never give up hope. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what I Yeah, I for sure and go be like you if you yeah, it's it's in terms of you know making your environment like usage to the best of your advantage, right? Like when you have hope, you know. Um, like not just to focus specifically on one thing, but try to focus on how you can make yourself like uh, productive and useful, like in terms of like what you have around you, as you say, you know, education. Yeah. It's not just in terms of like, you know, the traditional education of like a building or a structure or like, or with teachers, you know, nowadays, like education is everywhere. Like self-taught is education, like self-creativity is education. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. So there's indeed a lot of things, no matter the situation, no matter the hardship, as long as you don't lose hope, now there's for sure a lot of things one can do in any given situation to just try and continuously pushing themselves, you know, to the life that they want to and also for the others around them, you know. Exactly. So yeah, for sure, I agree with you on that. Yeah, but other than that, yeah, I think as much as I would love for this conversation to continue, you know, but uh, uh, any other like last thoughts or parting words in terms of like, you know what we have talked about, what we've addressed, or even something that we didn't address or talk about? Uh, I think we've addressed uh, most of the important points uh, regarding this topic. But if I want to end it with something, I want to end it with one uh, inspiring quote from Chadwick Boseman, if that's okay. No problem. Um, so I'll have to choose one because there's 10 inspiring quotes that oh, I Oh, okay. <laughs> On the internet, uh, let's see what's that. Okay, I think this one goes with what we just talked about. Okay, so he said, uh, in the words of Chadwick Boseman, uh, rest in peace. Um, so he said, when you are deciding on the next steps, next jobs, next careers, further education, you should rather find purpose than a job or a career. Purpose crosses disciplines. Purpose is essential, is an essential element of you. So, wow. that's the words of Chadwick Boseman. So. Wow, very, very beautiful. Uh, music, can you just repeat it once more so our viewers and our awesome people can just hear about it? Please just, it's very, oh, very yeah. beautiful. I would love to. <laughs> okay, so when you are deciding on the next steps, Next jobs, next careers, further education, you should rather find purpose than a job or a career. Purpose crosses disciplines. Purpose is an essential element of you. Woo! Okay, those are like very great words of parting by. Inspiring. Yeah, very inspiring. Like it's just like touches like very deep in my heart, deep in my soul. So thank you for that uh, great quote, uh, for reading it out. And uh, yeah, rest in peace. Uh, yeah, Chadwick uh, Bosman and thanks for uh, his inspiration and the, really the impact that he did uh, with the few years that he had on this world. So yeah, so to everybody watching this, again, please subscribe. Don't just come and enjoy and you go. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much, Sosina. Uh, for this amazing, uh, great conversation on culture, you know, on dreams, on purpose, on, uh, yeah, on just uh, hardships, you know. I really appreciate your time and, uh, yeah, wishing you uh, the very best, uh, in, whether it's in education, in work, in life, in everything. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me, Gerard. Keep going. I like what you're doing. And everybody, keep on subscribing and liking and sharing his channel because we need more people like him. And yeah, thanks for having me and have a nice rest of the day and wish you good luck 